the weight and sin of the devil shall be lifted. speak to me again. was a Princess Salome tonight. She is like a woman rising from a tomb. She is like a dead woman. She has a strange look. She is like a little princess who wears a yellow veil whose feet are of silver. She is like a princess who has little white doves from feet. One night fancy she is dancing. She is like a dead woman. She moves very slowly. She's very beautiful tonight. You're always looking at her. You look at her too much. It is dangerous to look at her. Something terrible may happen. But she is so beautiful. <clears throat> you look too much at her. Why must I ask this again? Listen to me. Cast your gaze elsewhere. The Tetrarch. He has a somber look. He's looking at something. Perhaps he's looking at someone. To whom is he looking? I cannot tell. It is safe to look at him. <clears throat> How pale the princess is. Never have I seen her so pale. She's like the shadow of a rose in a mirror of silver. You must not look at her. Look to the tetrarch and his new bride. See what they are doing. Looking towards them could bring you riches. Is that the Queen Herodias, Salome's mother? Yes. That is the Tetrarch's new bride. Herodias has filled the cup of the Tetrarch. Go on. The Tetrarch is very fond of wine. He has a wine of three sorts, one which is brought from the island of Samothrace and is purple, like the cloak of Caesar. Oh, I've never seen Caesar. Another that comes from a town called Cyprus and is as yellow as gold. <laughs> I love gold. The third is the wine of Sicily. The wine is as red as blood. The gods of this country are very fond of blood. Twice in the year we sacrifice to them young men and maidens. Fifty young men and a hundred maidens. In my country there are no gods left. The war with the Tetrarch drove them out. There are some who say they have hidden themselves behind the mountains. But I do not believe it. Jews worship a God that you cannot see. <laughs> that I cannot understand. In fact, they only believe in things that you cannot see. That to me seems altogether ridiculous. <laughs> when she heard about the Messiah, she came behind him and touched his cloak. She thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her 12 years of bleeding stopped. Her years of suffering that none could cure ended in a moment. She was filled with light. The Messiah turned to the crowd and asked, Who touched me? When they all denied it, his disciples said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. Someone touched me. 
I know that power has gone out from me. Then the woman came and fell at his feet, and trembling with fear, told him the truth. Forgive me. I only wished to end this pain. Your faith will rebuild the old ruins and raise a city out of the wreckage. Take the rubble left behind and make it new. Silence! He's always saying ridiculous things. Who is he? A prophet. A holy man, so they say. What is his name? They call him John the Baptist. Where does he come from? From the desert, where he fed on locusts and wild honey. He was clothed in camel's hair, and round his loins he had a leather belt. He was very terrible to look upon. He had a great many that would follow him. He even had disciples. What is he speaking of? We can never tell. Well, sometimes he says things that might frighten you, but it's impossible to understand what he says. Look at her little hands. They're fluttering like the wings of doves. They're like butterflies. They're just like butterflies. What is that to you? Why must you look at her? You must not look at her. Something terrible may happen. Listen to me. After me shall come another, mightier than I. With his power, the heartbroken shall blossom like the rose. The dead shall wake to new life. The bleeding woman shall be healed. Silence! What a strange prison. It's an old cistern. An old cistern? That must be a poisonous place in which to dwell. Oh, no. For instance, the Tetrarch's brothers was imprisoned here for 12 years, and it did not kill him. After the 12 years, he had to be strangled. It is a terrible thing to strangle the king. Why? Kings have but one neck like other men. She is like a dove that has strayed. My friend, you must not look at her. She is like an Arcissus trembling in the wind. This will only cause trouble. She is like a silver flower. The weight and sin of the devil shall be lifted, and your soul set free to soar like a dove, to soar high in the sky in the name of the Lord. Follow his path out from the wilderness, and love, and hear the voice of he who loves you. Listen to him, for he is forgiving. He is full of forgiveness. He loves you. God loves you. I love you. What do I do? Blessed be they who mourn. What do you mean? Lovest thou me? Of course. Keep my words. I 
don't understand. Why am I alone? For thy eternal good. It hurts. Blessed be they who mourn. Lovest thou me? Of course. Keep my words. I have. Eternal good. <laughs> now talk is a mystery. Unfold thyself. Blessed be they who mourn. Lovest thou me? Thou knowest that I love thee. Keep my words. They are enshrined in me. Love is on me. Must I say again that I love thee? Love is on me. Must I swear to thee? Wilt thou not cease? Love is on me. Love is on me. I heard someday that someone would come. So when she did, I just listened. The veins pumped alongside her footsteps. The hairs on my arms stood up and followed her around the room as she paced outside my cell. I can still feel her in the floor. God never felt so near. Death never felt so warm. I will speak no more. Thou shalt not hear my voice. The weight and sin of the devil shall be lifted, and your soul set free to soar like a dove, to soar high in the sky in the name of the Lord. Follow his path out from the wilderness and love, and hear the voice of he who loves you. Listen to him, for he is forgiving. He is full of forgiveness. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I stole her jewels. I lied to leave the banquet. I, I drank his wine. I danced for him. I asked for. I washed his blood off my hands. I made them open the cistern. I made them open the cistern. Please let me in the cistern. I 
command you to open the cistern. I've been told not to. By who? Your mother's orders. You remember when you spilled wine in my mother's favorite gown and she demanded your name and all you could say was Paige. You were trembling. Mother was enraged. Look at me. Do you remember how hard I laughed? How even after she sent you away, beaten and starving, I brought you bread? I made you bandages from old cloth, do you remember? Look at me! Open the cistern. You told me someday someone would come. His words are ridiculous. Do not listen to him. Would it not be better to return to the banquet, princess? Please, princess. He speaks lies. Let, Let us return, return you to the tetrarch. tetrarch. Speak again. Do not stay here, princess. I beseech you. Please, princess, do not stay here. He will come to me and he will speak. Open the cistern. Now. Let the prophet come forth! I will not have her look at me. I know not who she is. I do not desire to know who she is. I'm Salome, daughter of Herodias, princess of Judea. Come not near me. Your mother has filled this world with sin. Back! Speak again, John the Baptist. Your voice is as music to my ears. Speak again and tell me what I must do. Come not near me. Leave this place. It is filled with abominations. Your body is beautiful like the snows that lie in the mountains of Judea and come down into the valleys. Your body is more beautiful than the stars in the heavens. It sings to me. It bathes me in awesome light. There is nothing in the universe so beautiful <coughs> as your body. Suffer me to touch your body. By woman came evil into this world. I listen only to the voice of him who has come and will come. Salome, Salome, where are you? Your body is hideous. It is like the dry earth of the desert. It is like a plastered wall where vipers have crawled. It is horrible. Your body is horrible. The weight and sin of the devil shall be lifted and your soul set free to soar like a dove. Your eyes, John. The weight and sin your of the devil eyes are like bloodstone. Your, your eyes are like long like black nights when the moon the hides her face and the, and the stars are afraid. And your soul set the silence that dwells in the like forest is not so the black. There is nothing the in the world that is so black as your eyes. Free to soar like a dove. Me a no look one shall from profane the temple of God. Salome, your eyes are horrible. They are like the backs of dung beetles. They are like the sting of thorns. I love not your eyes. It is your mouth that I desire, John. Your mouth is like a band of scarlet. It is like pomegranate flowers in bloom. It is redder than the blood of a slain lion. Your mouth is like a branch of coral that fishes have found in the twilight of the sea. There is nothing in the world that is so red as your mouth. Suffer me to kiss your mouth. Do not touch me. Salome. 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 Be afraid and repent. I will kiss your mouth, John the Baptist. Did you not hear the beating of wings in the palace? Suffer you me bring to kiss this angel your mouth, death. John. But he Suffer is coming. To kiss your Salome. Mouth. He is the sun. Come to your father. He is the light. Suffer me Go out to and kiss seek him. Mouth. Kneel on the Suffer shore and call his mouth. name Suffer to the sea. When he comes to you, bow at his feet and beg his forgiveness. Suffer me to kiss your mouth. Why do you not listen? Mouth. Suffer me to kiss your mouth. Curse it! Be thou daughter of incestuous mother! I will not hold Suffer thee! Me to kiss your mouth. Suffer I will me to not kiss love thee! Mouth. Suffer me to kiss Back. your mouth! Suffer me to kiss your mouth, John. I will kiss your mouth.
Salome. Where is the princess? Why did she not return to the banquet? I commanded her. You must not look at her. You are always looking at her. The moon has a strange look tonight. Has she not a strange look? She is like a mad woman seeking everywhere for lovers. She is naked too. Clouds are seeking to clothe her nakedness, but she will not let them. She shows herself freely to the sky. She reels through the clouds like a drunken woman. I am sure she is looking for lovers. No, the moon is like the moon, that is all. Leave her alone. I will stay here. Lay carpets here, light torches, bring forth the ivory tables. The air here is sweet. I will drink more wine. We will celebrate and behold the beautiful Salome. We will be glad, family. Why do you remain? I know I. You are foul. Is this not what you begged for, my kingdom? Salome. Come, sit close to us. Why will you not sit with us? It's cold here. Is there a wind blowing? No, there is no wind. I say there is a wind that blows, and I hear in the air a beating of wings. Do you not hear it? I hear nothing. How can you not hear it? I tell you, there is nothing. You are ill. I am not ill. It is your daughter who is sick. Never have I seen her so pale. I have told you not to look at her. <laughs> Bring me more wine! Salome! Oh, <laughs> Salome! Come celebrate with me! It is time for us to be happy! Oh, yes. Salome, come drink a little wine with me. Caesar himself has sent me a wine that is exquisite. Come taste it with thy little red lips. I'm not thirsty, Tetra. Bring me ripe fruit. Salome, come eat with me. I love to see the marks of thy little teeth. Bite a little of this fruit so I may eat what is left. I'm not hungry, Tetra. You see how you have brought up this daughter of yours. She does right. Salome, come and rest next to me. I will give thee the throne of thy mother. I'm not tired, Petrarch. You see in what regard she holds you. Bring me what is it that I desire. Behold, the time is come. That which I foretold has come to pass. I have tried to baptize you with water. Behind me follows one more powerful than I. He will baptize you with flames. Bid him be silent. I will not listen to his voice. He is forever hurling insults at me. He is a very great prophet. I do not believe in prophets. There is no man who knows what will come to pass. You suffer him to live because you are afraid of him. I am not afraid of him. I am afraid of no man. Then deliver him to the Jews. Enough! I will not deliver him to anyone. He is a holy man. He is a man who has seen God. That cannot be. There is no man who has seen God. God does not show himself. You are truly a plague on this world. Behold, the day is at hand, the day of the Lord. I hear upon the mountains the feet of him who shall be the savior of the world. What does that mean, savior of the world? He must speak of Caesar. It was not concerning Caesar that the prophet spoke these words, sir. He speaks of another man, a Messiah who hath come. No Messiah hath come. They say he works miracles. Miracles? I do not believe in miracles. He was seen by a great multitude of people speaking with the angels. Angels do not exist. It is true, my queen. He would serve you close your mouth and listen to these men. You are all ridiculous. Men with a dreamer's look. Only fearful dreamers believe in angels in heaven. And how do you know? I am she. I know who I am. You are a wicked woman, and the moon shall not cast her light on you. You have looked too long on the moon. It's only sick men who dream. It is thus he will wipe out all wickedness from the earth. All shall learn not to imitate this queen's abomination. Do you hear what he says? You suffer after a vial, your own wife. John!
You will press the king greatly to be sent here. There are very few street prophets who are so revered. I mean that as a compliment. I am sure. I am more than a street prophet. Of course, I do not mean to offend. It is not me whom you have offended. I came here to give you an offer. You do have King Herod's ear. I know that you have a message that you want to spread. I think that I can help you do that. Spread my message? Yes. I can give you avenues to the greatest ears in this land. Get you out of the cistern, get you into the court. What makes you think I don't like it here? <laughs> I believe you. But do you believe? Do you believe in more than this palace? Do you believe in more than yourself? Do I believe in... in... You can say it. In what? In goodness? In... No, I do not believe in any of your gods, or God, as it were. I do not hold any stock in that sort of thing, but I can help you. I need you to talk to the king about our marriage. I'm aware of the things you've said about us, but we are still married under the law. Your laws have no worth. I can offer you the company of my daughter. On this day, the sun shall become black like smoke, and the moon shall become like blood. And the stars of the heaven shall fall, and all kings of the earth shall be afraid. This prophet talks like a drunken man. I cannot suffer the sound of his voice. Command him to be silent. I will not. You are the cause of the terrible words the prophet speaks. Maybe an omen. It cannot be. You are looking again at my daughter. You must not look at her. You say nothing else. Do not listen. Dance for me, Salome. <laughs> I will not have her dance. Salome, daughter of Herodias, dance for me. That her lone beast, you are her father. I am not. I command thee to dance, Salome. Ha! Fine. What is it to me whether she dances or not? Tonight I am happy. I am exceedingly happy. Never have I been so happy. The Tetrarch has a somber look. Yes, he has a somber look. He shall be seated on his throne. He shall be clothed in scarlet and ermine. In his hand he shall bear a golden cup full of his blasphemies. He shall be eaten by worms. Do you hear what he says about you? It is not of me who he speaks. Never has he spoken a word against me, this prophet, save that I have sinned in taking you as my wife. You are unclean, and you are sterile. I am sterile. You say that as you look at my child and then her dance. You speak as a fool. It is you who are sterile, not I. Woman, I say you are sterile. The prophet says that our marriage will bring evils. I'm sure he is right. But now is not the hour to speak of these things. I would be happy at this moment. Salome. Salome. Salome, dance Daughter for me. Princess Judea, I'm I'm sad tonight. When I came hither, I heard the beating of giant wings. I cannot tell what they mean. I will Son suffer thee to dance for me. Son yes, dance for me, Salome, and whatever Son thou shalt ask of me, Son I will give, even unto half my Son kingdom. Son. Do not dance, my daughter. Whatever thou ask, I swear it, Salome. Do not dance, my daughter. I swear by my gods, by my crown, by my life, whatever thou desire, I will give thee, even unto half my kingdom, if thou wilt dance for me. Oh, Salome. Salome, dance for me. Do not dance, my daughter. If thou ask for half my kingdom, thou wilt be <laughs> lovelier <laughs> than a queen. Will she not be fair as queen? It's cold here. And there is an icy wind. And I hear in the air this beating of wings. Is there a huge black bird that hovers over the terrace? Why can I not see it? It blows a chill wind. Nay, it is hot. I'm choking. Pour water on my hands. Give me snow to eat. My garland hurts me. My garland of roses. The flowers are like fire. They have burned my forehead. How red the petals are. They're like blood stains. Look at the moon. She is red as the petals. She has become red as blood.
His story was true. Your daughter will dance for me, Salome. Thou hast promised to dance for me. Daughter, do not dance. Not for this man. But prove yourself like your sex. Too strong for weakness and too weak for strength. Dance for me, Salome. 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 The wings of the devil shall be lifted in your souls and free to swim with them to soar high in the sky and even more. The weight and sin of the devil shall be lifted and your soul set free to soar like a dove, to soar high in the sky in the name of the Lord. Follow his path out from the wilderness and love, and hear the voice of he who loves you. Listen to him, for he is forgiving. He is full of forgiveness. He loves you. God loves you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I will dance for you, Tetrarch.
He loves you. God loves you. I love you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. You see that she has danced for me? Come near, Salome. Come near. I will pay ye royally. I will give you whatever your soul desires. What would you have? Speak. I would you bring me on a silver platter. <laughs> on a silver platter? Surely yes, on a silver platter. She is charming. What would you have us bring on a silver platter? Oh, sweet and fair Salome, thou art lovelier than all the queens of Judea. What would you have me bring on a silver platter? Whatever it may be, you will receive it. My treasures belong to you. What is it you would have, Salome? The head of John the Baptist. Well said, my daughter. I do not think I heard what you spoke. Tell me again. What is it you will have, Salome? <laughs> Give me the head of John the Baptist!
Daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea. I am Salome, daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea. I am Salome, daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea. I am Salome, daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea. I am Salome. Daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea, I am Salome. Daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea, I am Salome. Daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea, I am Salome. Daughter of Herodias, Princess of Judea. stole her jewels. I lied to leave the banquet. I drank his wine. I danced for him. I made them open the cistern. I asked for his head. I washed his blood off my hands.
I am not she. I am not who I am.